Good afternoon, Facebook Live. I am on vacation, sitting in the car. I think my wife understands me way more than I think she does, and she said, you know what, Curry, go get me something to drink at the gas station so I could get out of the house and make a live video, right? I mean, I know she's trying to support me. No, that's really not at all what she was trying to do, but this is what I like to do. I love, I love, uh, you know, making these videos, you know, whether or not they help people, you know, it's not always about helping people. It's just sometimes just me venting, sometimes me having a conversation that I want to, you know, just save for the future. Maybe in the future, something, something might help somebody, but you know, we just looked at this, this high rise, right? It's the very first one we looked at. It's my dream to wake up every single day and just be at the ocean. It's my dream to wake up and just feel that salty air and just I don't know there's something about being at the ocean something about the the waves roaring the white noise is just so comforting to me I love listening to it uh, I think being on a cruise ship is my most favorite place on the planet I, I love hearing the ocean um, you know I've grown up near the river my whole life and it just doesn't cut it the 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 roar of the ocean is something that just drives drives me. I want to be in it. I want to be underneath of it. I love diving and I love snorkeling and I love seeing the fish. And I just am consumed by it. I, it's something that I just love. And, and I don't want to just have a house near the ocean. Like I don't want to get in the car and drive there. I want to live at the ocean, like on it. Not like. So uh, the, the best thing I could possibly find for, you know, security and comfort, creature comforts is a high rise. I mean, you got all your amenities taken care of, the buildings managed, you got everything that you need, but of course you got to pay extra for that, right? You got to pay those H HOA fees or the management fees, and you got to pay for the, uh, the higher price of living where people dream to live. And, um, <laughs> they told us the price of that place we were just looked at it's you know it's not much more than what we pay now uh, for our house but it is a lot more with fees and everything else it's a lot more but you know when you want a dream like when you when you want something so big that you have no clue how you're going to accomplish it you just you just go get it like you just go get it like there's nothing that's gonna stop you from achieving the dream that you want except for you um, I am, I'm not I'm not like I tell people all the time I don't mean to sound like I'm bragging I never do I just get excited I get excited about what's happening in our lives I'm excited about the changes that are happening the people that we're meeting the, the ones we're surrounding ourselves with now are amazing the people that are screaming into our lives I'm talking screaming people you people don't understand how fast your life can change like 60 days ago I was still trying to promote world ventures with OSP I was still out there promoting that business and now I'm struggling to walk away, like struggling to walk away from, you know, three years uh, of, of a journey. And I, I, well, I still am going to always, you know, as long as they have me still do, um, still do that business, still do that, that, that product. Cause I love going on the trips. We're getting ready to go on our, our sixth dream trip in a couple days. And then we go to uh, another one in Quebec. I love the product. But the business for me has been uh, been a, been a been a hassle. I mean, not not a hassle. It's just I love duplicating, and I like helping network marketers, and I like helping create people who are receiving an income and and seeing what we've been able to do in just sixty days, and the number of people who are now getting a daily paycheck a a monthly paycheck a residual over and over and over again in just minutes of time a couple of days is unbelievable the people who've already hit ranks in what we're doing and, and it, it's just blowing my mind it's blowing my mind and I and it's hard not to want that feeling every single day like I woke up today 
and was able to truly help somebody get a daily paycheck. Like I made a decision, they got paid. That was fun. That was, that was a blast. And I'm not taking the credit for all that. I'm saying I had an opportunity to do something to help somebody make a daily paycheck for a long period of time. And I went ahead and made that decision. And it's, I love that. I love that. That's the, when you get to help people, it's like that pay it forward feeling. Like when you, when you, when you drive through a drive through and you, you make a decision to help people, that's, that's fun. Like you don't expect anything in return. You just want to do something different. You want to help people. And so as we look at this high rise today, I realized this dream is getting closer and closer. Like it, we tasted it today like we went up in the building we went up to the floor we stood on those balconies we we looked at it and we were like this is it this is what we want both Jen and I was loving loving that feeling that we could have just woken up and been there been every day looking at the ocean and I gotta tell you if your dream is to get up and go to your shift work job for the rest of your life, awesome. If that's what you chose to do, if that's when you were a small kid and you knew that you just wanted to be a shift worker, awesome. But if it wasn't, if your dream was to do something bigger and you gave up on it because something was too hard, you gave up on it because it was complicated or had a had a challenge to it. Maybe you should reconsider your vision. Maybe you should reconsider your goal and go get that. Even if you're 40 years old, even if you're 50 years old, even if you're 60 and you still have time. Imagine this, you're 60 years old, you're about to retire from your job. And you realize that you still have possibly 20 years left to live, maybe 30, maybe 40, and you're only 60. That's a half of your life left to live. And you're just going to be like, well, I'm retiring. I'm done. I'm done. Guys, your vision of your future is attainable. You can go get it. If you let somebody or something hold you back from the vision of your own future, it's your own fault. I mean, quitters are going to be quitters every day. People give up on stuff every single day. But I'm telling you, standing there on that balcony, looking over that over that uh, edge at the at the water rolling up, listening to the ocean, seeing the cars drive by Daytona Beach, that. That was a good feeling. Like, that was a good feeling. Like, it felt like it could be ours. Like, it felt like it was right there. Like, we were, we tasted that victory. We tasted it today. Now, the only thing I got to do is a, a, attain it. I got to go just believe it enough, put forth enough effort, and get and receive it. Ask, and you shall receive. So all you got to do is ask and believe that it's already done. Believe it. I believe that I'll be living in a high rise overlooking the ocean in a short period of time. I believe it. There's nothing that's going to stop me other than me. My efforts are the only thing holding me back from winning at that level. What's holding you back today? I'm Curry Russell. I'll talk to you soon.